Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a magic review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being a, a supporter of the channel. Thanks for appreciating uh, what it is that I do. I review magic tricks, by the way. I review magic tricks, the latest and the greatest. That's right. So if it's come out and you've seen a trailer and you're like, ooh, that looks pretty cool. I wonder if I should get it. Pop on over here first. Make sure you watch a review either from me or from one of the other magic reviewers that are out there on YouTube. Please go and watch other reviews as well. Make sure you get opinions before you spend your money, always. Uh, do me a favor, hit like. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit all the social media clickety-click buttons. That's your best way of letting me know that you appreciate what I do. Today, long anticipated, people have been asking for this one. Uh, lots of requests for this. John Cornelius, prolific inventor. Oh my gosh. Uh, fickle nickel, come on. Uh, John Cornelius' thought transmitter. This is the thought transmitter version three. Thought transmitter pro version three. Murphy's Magic, new release. If you don't know what the Thought Transmitter Pro is, it is a peak wallet unlike any other. If I were to try to describe it and say, oh, it's like this, there's really no other peak wallet like this. I have seen a lot of peak wallets. I've never seen one like this before. Uh, I have the original uh, Thought Transmitter Pro. I think I even reviewed it, right? Didn't I review it on the channel? I think so. Um, but in this one, I think one of the really cool aspects of this is, um, let's say you give them the billet. Okay, and they write down their favorite number or a person's name. Okay, um, as they want to give it back to you, you can say, no, 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 I don't even want to touch it. You slide it back in the wallet. You close the wallet. Here's a rubber band, put the rubber band around the wallet. They can do all of that and you can still get your peak. That's right, you can get your peak even after, after the wallet is closed and rubber banded shut. All right, so let's say you pay your $40 to hocus-pocus.com. What are you gonna get? Well, you're gonna get this nice hard-shelled box. It says Thought Transmitter Pro by uh, John Cornelius. Inside the box, you're gonna get the wallet. And of course, uh, one of these cards is gonna have the download code, but I'm not gonna show you what it is. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the whole wallet so you can see everything, okay? I want you to see exactly uh, what this is like. So you're getting this matte black vinyl wallet, right? On the front side here, you have two pockets. There's a pocket back here and there's a pocket right here. And so I have this uh, little number card here in the front most pocket. And yes, you do get this card, right? This card comes with a wallet and you're going to get actually every card you see inside this wallet. I want to show you everything you get, all the pockets, all the cards, okay? So opening it up, uh, you're gonna see two sides. You get this matte black vinyl side with two pockets, again. Each one of those cards is in a different pocket. And then you get the transparent side, two transparent windows on this side, and again, two cards. So this black card back here, that's the card that includes the download code. This is a fake $50 gift card. And of course, please replace it you know, with something that uh, is yours or something that's in your area. Uh, this is just a business card right here on the front. And then this is a $100 gift card. Again, it's another a fake card. But that's the wallet. And so really, um, if you have the old thought transmitter, you're going to notice that same cards came with that one. And the old thought transmitter looked pretty much really similar to this. So yeah, you get all these cards, all these pockets, and that's what the wallet looks like. Is it what I thought? Well, I did have one before, right? I did have one before. And even though this said version three, right? I was kind of thinking, okay, what's it gonna be? What's the difference? But as far as I can tell, the difference is really only the addition of the Murphy's Magic video, which wasn't included before, but I think er everything else, um, it's exactly the same. So if you're wondering if it's a different peak or a different style of peak or different technology, it's, it's the same. How are the angles? I mean, similar to other peak wallets. Right? I mean, you never want to have people behind you because that's where all the dirty work happens. Um, there is another element to the wallet, and this is where I was saying this wallet's unlike any other. There is another element to the wallet that I have seen some people talk about 
as far as flashing goes. The, uh, this wallet literally flashes. <laughs> uh, there's a mechanical element to it, as best as I can say it. There's a kind of like a signal that's kind of, it, there's an indicator that you don't want people to see. That indicator can flash off of your glasses, a very glossy table, your watch. So uh, you probably don't want to do this in a very dark room. There's, there are some telltale signs, so you're going to have to practice the peak. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? You get one hour and five minutes worth of instruction. That's a long time. You got Javier Fuemir. He's against a white background. He's in the Murphy's Magic Studio. There's no music. He is well mic'd. You get a straight on shot and some really great close-ups and some over the shoulder shots as well. As far as what he's going to teach you, he's going to give you a little intro to who John Cornelius is. He's going to go over what's in the box. And then he's going to spend the next 12 minutes working on your peak. So he's going to talk about how the peak works specifically with this wallet. And like I said, it's the same as before. He's going to talk about how to get your peak and how to do some various peaks and 12 minutes, right? He's going to spend 12 minutes going over every little nuance uh, that he can think of. Then he's going to go into three different routines. The first routine is done in the Murphy's Magic Studio. It's with a spectator. It's more of a just think of anything routine, really. The spectator can really think of anything. And uh, of course, you reveal it. And like I said, there's an in-studio performance and then an explanation. The second trick is called Instinct. This is done live at Starbucks with a live spectator. Uh, and it's more of a go with your gut kind of routine where they pick a number. And then after they pick a number, they pick a card and you are able to guess both. And what I really liked about this was uh, Javier has this really fantastic idea about using the wallet as a shiner. The third trick is called mental epic routine. This one was my absolute favorite. Um, I'm totally going to use this idea. It's a three item, uh, three phase kind of uh, one step ahead routine. You know, the typical three questions, you write down each one and you're always a step ahead. It's that routine, but done on a smaller scale with a peak wallet. After that, there's some additional ideas about loading the wallet, making it more your own, maybe putting some packet tricks in there, some billets, some of your own business cards. There's the troubleshooting portion where they talk about how to change the battery, and then there's some thank yous. Is it well made? I mean, it's a vinyl card wallet, right? It's a vinyl wallet holder, similar to other just bifold vinyl wallets, right? Please take care of it. You don't want to stretch those pockets out. When you stretch plastic pockets like that, sometimes the plastic will stretch and then stay stretched. So you're going to want to take care of it. Pocket space. Here's some pictures of it compared to some other wallets I own, whether it be uh, my Viper wallet or my Wiser wallet. Here it is next to my Shadow wallet. How much practice does it require? It's very easy. Very easy. There's no hard slides. Like I said, uh, you can still even get your peak even after the wallet is closed. How much setup and reset is there? None. Just load your wallet up with all of your favorite items and you're good to go. Positives. All right, so what are the positives? Murphy's Magic has taken this John Cornelius classic and given it the boost that it always needed. Good job. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? I think my biggest negative was, you know, sometimes when you have the previous wallet or the previous version of the trick and you hear that a new one's coming out, you think, oh, I love that. I'm going to get the new one. Or maybe you think, oh, I didn't like that. I'm hoping the new one's going to be better, right? You're, there's always some sort of anticipation about, ooh, this next new shiny brand new thing. But opening the box, I was kind of like, oh, it's the same, <laughs> right? There's kind of just a letdown with like, I, I was just hoping for a little bit more. I do like the teaching that came with this. I wish the original had come with teaching like this. Um, I think it really added something, but I think maybe with this release, um, I don't know, maybe I was just hoping for more, I guess. Is it worth your money? It is $40 at the end of the day, right? It is 40 bucks and it's vinyl. It's a vinyl wallet. So it's not leather, it's vinyl wallet, but you do get an hour of teaching. So I say, if you haven't got this before, I'm like, say, who would like this? If you've never picked this up and you are looking for a different kind of peak wallet, maybe you, you've looked around at some and you just haven't kind of landed on one that you like, this definitely is in a class all by itself. But don't just take my word for it. Don't. 
don't take my word for it. Go watch other review channels as well. Fiddlin' Johnny. Fiddlin' Johnny has done a great review for this. Please make sure you go over and check out his site. He reviews stuff a lot. He's usually reviewing stuff even before me. Um, make sure you give him a like. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's a lot of fun to watch. All right, that's everything I can say about the Thought Transmitter Pro version 3. I want to thank Hocus-Pocus.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it right now at Hocus-Pocus.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, and before I go, I just want to let you know that if you are looking for a friendly community made up of professional and amateur magicians just like yourself, be sure to check out the Magicians Forum at themagiciansforum.com. The Magicians Forum is helpful, clean, and you'll be able to ask questions and receive advice from people who know what they're talking about. Come see where masters like Harry Lorraine and Pop Hayden hang out. Oh, and of course, I'm there too. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great week.